Greetings. I'm here today to talk about a battery which I am advising that you avoid. Um, it's an UltraFire battery and it says 18650, which is what it is. It says 3000 mAh, which is what it isn't, and 3.7 volts, which is what it is. Uh, these batteries are all over the internet, eBay, um, Amazon, whatever. And when you buy maybe like uh, when you buy like a cheap flashlight online it's, which comes in a kit with a battery and a charger for twenty dollars or less they will usually throw one of these in with it now it might not be this exact battery uh, depending on the maker of the flashlight but if it's an ultra fire it's probably going to be obviously an ultra fire battery and it could very well be this one and everybody says, oh my god, a free battery, hey, like, wow, dude, that's amazing, and a charger, oh boy. Anyway, they get all excited about this, but I, and the trouble is they probably don't even realize that they're getting a piece of crap, and that they don't run for, you know, for diddly squat. So anyway, we're going to try to prove to you here just uh, what kind of runtime and uh, so forth. Now, first of all, these batteries aren't even protected. Uh, meanwhile, on here somewhere, it will say something about a protection circuit on here. They usually do. Um, yeah, it'll say on here about a protection circuit, but please believe me, they are not protected. So that doesn't mean anything. Anyway, um, let us, uh, and by the way, I charge the battery first. We're going to test it out in a flashlight here. I charge the battery first and it charged it says 3000 milliamps but it only took it took less than 500 didn't even take 500 milliamps to charge it completely so that's the that should be your first uh hint as to how poor they are so let's uh take a look at the charger here or i mean the te battery tester i'm sorry so we'll test out the battery just so you can see that it is at full charge at the moment and I'm not sure how I can do this and get the charger in the frame the same uh, charger I keep calling it a charger the tester in the frame but let's see here okay well, we'll do it this way all right so we have the battery we are putting positive and negative up and we are at 4.12 volts I think you can see that 4.12 is where we are right now. The battery is fully charged. 4.12. A proper battery should charge or should test. Yeah, should charge and or test to more than that. If it's fully charged, it should be closer to 4.2. But this is at 4.12. Okay, so let's put this in the flashlight. And we'll get the test underway. This is a uh, night eye. ECR26 flashlight and one of the reasons I'm testing it in this is because it has the low battery indicator light underneath the switch so that'll be a good indicator for us as to when the battery is starting to run down I will turn it on I will make sure that it is on high there we go it is now in high mode and the battery, or rather the flashlight, has an 18.6... Well, I just put the battery in there. You saw me do it. So, yes, it's got that crappy battery in here. That's the whole purpose of the test. So, and let us uh, now look at the time and see where we go. The time is exactly 5.30. The time is 5.30, and we have started the flashlight, and it is on high. So, let's find out exactly how far we can go until the battery starts to dim. Now what I have done is, you can see I propped the flashlight up and here is the beam on the wall. So we'll check back in a bit. If you note how bright the beam is, this light is about uh, 900, uh, 900 and something lumens, around 900, 900 plus lumens on the battery. So we'll check back in a bit and see if this has dimmed. Uh, the time is now, <laughs> not much has elapsed, the time is now 5.32, but just showing you where I put the flashlight, okay? Okay, it's time for an update on our battery. The voltage, uh, the voltage meter within the flashlight just started flashing. 
The time is now 5.47. Remember, I started it at 5.30. So it has been 17 minutes, and the, bolt, the voltage is now starting to flash. You see that? The blue light, that means the battery is down to 50%. It's been 17 minutes, and the battery is now at 50% power. And uh, so there you go, 50%. Let us, and uh, by the way, here is the, uh, let me show you the beam. Here is the beam. If you can possibly tell if that looks any different from when I last uh, did the update, when I first turned it on. But anyway, just to give you an update at what's going on at the moment, we will return in a bit. Actually, I just want to make sure here that I stop the video on the beam so that when I start it next time, you can have an idea as to whether the beam, as, as to whether the brightness of the beam, the intensity of it has actually diminished further. Okay, I'm back for an update. The time is now one minute to six, and it's been um, less than 15 minutes since I was here the last time. The last time was uh, uh, it had been on for 17 minutes. Now it's just about six o'clock, so it's not even 15 minutes more. Here is the output of the beam. To me, I can see that it has significantly reduced its uh, brightness, its output, and the flashlight is now double flashing. Before, it was flashing slowly to indicate that the battery was at least down to 50%. It is now double flashing, which means the voltage of the battery has dipped to near 10%. That's what the double flash means. That's what this flashlight does. It shows you when the battery is at 50%, and then it shows you again when it's near 10%. So that's what it's doing right now with the fast flash, showing that it's near 10%. And we are just half an hour exactly into first turning the flashlight on. Mind you, this is a pretty powerful flashlight with its turbo output, which is what I turned it on to at uh, about... Um, it's about 920 lumens or thereabouts. Um, I do mention this output in my uh, video review of this flashlight. Sorry if I'm not remembering it exactly right now, but you can certainly watch the video review of this flashlight and uh, you can see what the turbo mode is uh, in that review. But anyway, and I also forgot to mention that when I had first put this battery in the flashlight after I had fully charged it, when I put it in for the charge, the voltage was less than 3 volts. So, uh, that's when it only put less than 500 milliamps into the battery instead of the advertised 3000. It only put about 490 milliamps and that was when the voltage of the battery was less than 3 volts. So, this is the update at this point. Let's wait a little bit and we'll check it again. All right, here we are. Another 15 minutes has passed. Here is the output beam of the flashlight. Here is the light still blinking quickly to indicate that the battery is around 10% uh, voltage. And the time is a quarter past. Last time I was here it was 6 o'clock. It's now 6.15. So with 15 minutes passing, it is still basically in more or less the same situation it was before. And just to show you that um, um, there's not much left on the battery, if I click it once, it'll just go down to a really, really low, low beam here that you can barely see. And if I click it again, it just goes back to where it was. So uh, this obviously is what happens when you lose voltage. Uh, with a battery that you will lose modes on the flashlight, obviously. So, again, I just click it once and it goes down to basically nothing. There it is. And I click it again. So those are the only two modes available on the flashlight at the moment. And remember, we started this at 5.30. So it has been 45 minutes. But uh, the point that you're taking away with this, even though it drops to this... Um, 
level here. Now what it'll do is stay at this level for a little while before it drops again because as it does drop it's not putting that much strain on the battery even though the battery voltage is low it's not putting an awful lot of strain on it so it does more or less hold on to a very low level of light for for a slightly extended period more so than when you turn it on high and like we noticed in the first 15 20 minutes the battery was already down to 50 percent so it starts dropping quickly and then it more or less holds at a lower level for a longer period of time but uh, this level of light is not going to be terribly terribly useful for uh, many situations it's not too bad but I'm just demonstrating that the battery is not terribly strong and does not keep up with what other batteries would in the same situation. I can give the um, battery a test here if that would uh, indicate anything at all as far as what the voltage is at this particular time. So we can just check that for the heck of it and uh, hold on here let me turn a light on so we can see and uh, we'll just do a quick voltage check here here is the battery just came out of the flashlight um, and let's try to do this quickly All right one second okay oh gotta put this over where we can see it Okay, and we are at three point, whoops, I'm sorry, <laughs> was out of camera view. We are at 3.9, 3.10 volts, and that's after 45 minutes. So it has dropped significantly. When I put it in, it was 4.15 and 3. It's, it's going to rise a tiny bit after it comes out of the flashlight it's going to keep going up just a couple of in increments every every minute or so here um, but it'll rest at a relatively low rate so this again now it's 312 and this is after 45 minutes of continuous use now obviously you're probably going to leave a comment and say well nobody uses a flashlight for continuous use in that regard perhaps not sometimes you might under certain circumstances sometimes you might not but you will probably not use it on high for an extended period you might use it on lower medium obviously it's going to last longer under those situations then if you were to turn it on high and leave it as I have done for the purposes of this demonstration but again uh, this is a this is to show you that the battery is relatively well pretty pretty weak indeed and uh, will not hold up to the strenuous rigors that a normal battery would one that um, would be more expensive and have a overall better quality to it and just be of a higher MAH so I've turned it back on again and we are still in the same situation we were before with it flashing to indicate that it is 10% or lower and as we saw the voltage of the battery at that time a moment ago was 3.12 which is very low technically you are not supposed to let batteries lithium rechargeable batteries run below three volts that shortens their lifespan um, uh, quite a bit by several times so again the time right now is 20 minutes past I can do another check here in a little bit just to see where our voltage is gone all right I am back 15 minutes has passed again the time is now 6.30. It was 6.15 the last time and everything is still much the same. There is the output from the flashlight which is uh, quite a bit lower or it's very low from obviously where it was a while ago and uh, if I even turn it down one you can barely see it. I think it was even a little bit higher than that the last time. Um, it is very low. It has been one hour 
and uh, so you can see what it's doing. I can do a uh, quick check on the voltage once again just so we can see where that is. Okay, we'll just check that quickly. Last time we checked it was at 3... Uh, about 3 -0. Well, see now, I'm not remembering, but it was just over 3, about 3.09. No, no, either, that's right, it was about 3.12 last time I checked it. And where is the battery? Right here. Last time it was at 3.12. It is now at, oh, it's down, it's below 3 now. Okay. I can get this straight on the right spot. There we go. It's 392, 393, 392, 393. At the moment, it has been one hour exactly from when I first started it, and it is now below three volts, where technically you're not supposed to let them go to anyway. So there you are. There is the test of the Ultrafire. Supposedly 3000 mAh battery. 294, 295, it'll bump up a little bit, but technically it is below 3 volts at the moment from where it started at 4.13, I think it was, one hour ago. So there is your test of the Ultrafire 3000 mAh battery, of which it's technically only around 500 mAh. So you won't get a heck of a lot of use out of this battery if you're using it for a vape mod or for a high power flashlight. It is not going to run very long before it starts to lose power significantly until it's relatively useless for what you need it to do. Uh, and it will be so within basically an hour and that is that is being run on high or turbo mode on a flashlight but as you could as you saw it, it within 20 minutes it was already starting to significantly diminish so that's the test on the ultrafire hope you've enjoyed it stay away from these and do yourself a favor just get something better